Have you ever posted a photo online without thinking twice? Well, that photo might contain more information than you think. Your location, device info, even the exact date and time. Today, I'm going to show you how hackers use a tool called Exif Tool to dig out personal info. And how you can protect yourself. Welcome to our channel, we are Max Media GH, the hub of technology. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. The content shared is intended to raise awareness about digital privacy and metadata security. Any demonstrations using EXIF tool are shown solely to help viewers understand how personal data can be unintentionally exposed through images and how best you can protect yourself. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Join our Telegram community to receive daily tech tips. Find the link in the description section. Let's get started. EXIF tool is a powerful command line utility used to read, write, and edit metadata embedded in files, especially images. This metadata is called EXAF data, exchangeable image file format. Photographers use it for file management, but hackers and investigators use it to reveal sensitive info you might not even know is there. Let's dive into it. Give this installation let us go on to our desktop now so i'm on my kali and let me begin to launch my terminal here so go to the terminal to launch the terminal and then make sure you always um, check for updates check for updates and then just run the sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade to have all your i mean update on you updates run on your machine all right so now having that's what achieved we can go ahead to do our installation so to have installation or to install uh, as if to just use this command to do the sudo apt and then and it gets it gets um get installed right you get installed then you just enter as if as if true so this is what you're going to run then hit on enter now it asks you for password just enter your password so now our password now yes it is now done so this is it so now hit on y now enter so now that's how you install your edit tool so now it is now done so now let's go ahead to run so now i can go ahead to 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 scan for i um, mean an image um you have to get the image there so now these are the image i want to scan this particular image this is the england the name is england um london bridge all right so this is the image is a, is a jpg so a jpg X file you have to know the extension of the file too now having known that one just go ahead to your line to terminal there now let's head to the directory of that image so now it is my cd and it's on my desktop now let me hit on enter so i'm now on my desktop now let me now scan the image so now we are going to use this as if as if to then what is the name of the image so is the angle England hyphen and then it's London, all right. So it's London, London, and the hyphen is a bridge, all right. So now, uh, so this is the name now, it's JPG, JPG file. So now, when that one's achieved, hit on enter. Now, see the magic. Now, so we have this information. So these are the, the data we have had. So we call it the metadata. So we had this data. Now we are, let's go through to find uh, where you can find something meaningful from this image. So now let's begin from the top. So now it tells you the file, the file um, name. This is the file name. The file name is there. Directory is, is I'm, I'm on my CD on my on my desktop. Now the directory. Now this is the file size there already. And then it tells you. Um, the permissions there it tells you the type of image extensions all there I'm not sure that some of this is so now let's go ahead to find something meaningful we want to locate try to locate to find the location of this image you can do that one so now let's go ahead to um, go through them so now go scroll through them and you, you can even find the check it you can find the profile creator you can find um, the, the, the device manufacturer a lot of things there even the device that we use to capture this image you can use to find all of these things. so now let's, let's go let's go through let's go through and then find this something so now yes i want this one so come here the gps altitude gps and the date the um, latitude and longitude so i'm going to focus much on this one this can help you to track or to locate a picture of the image to find where this image is from all right so now 
let's go ahead so now we are going to use this detail to find to locate or to check whether this is real so if someone even tests you or gives you a picture of something okay maybe you are on something someone just gave you a picture you want to verify yes you can get some of this information to verify that is this is this image view is it there actually now we have a google map we want to locate and find that this image is actually there all right so now let's go ahead to do it so let's go and let's take note of this one so um let's go let's go to um https and then is there colon for first class and then this gps gps slash coordinate.net and hat hit on enter going to use the coordinate search to find so now we are here so now scroll down and you can input the longitude and latitude there to find the image and then check whether it's real or not so now um, let's come here okay let me give that uh, allow and let's go ahead to find so now this is the this is the image so it is so this was 51 degrees 30 minutes and then 40 14.78 seconds the north so this is actually um how you read this one so now let's go ahead to enter it there all right so um let's go so let, let's go to a uh, place so it is um this one is 51 all right so it's 51 and then this one is 30 51 here is a 30 here is 30 and then here is 14.78 something like that let's check it out it's 14 14 point Point seventy-eight. Now let's check whether everything is correct uh, before we come. So it's forty percent. That's correct. Point seventy-eight. Sorry. So now here to be zero degrees and then four minutes and then twenty-eight point four seven. Alright. So now let's go. Uh, so so uh, so zero. Here is four, and then here is twenty-eight point. Um, here is twenty-eight. It's twenty-eight point uh, four seven. So now that is it. So yeah, that's so. And it's northwest. So check something here. It's north. Here is north. Here is west. All right. So we have that one set away. So now we can go ahead to locate to locate to locate it. Now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. So now let's click on find. Let's go find. Get address. Now let's see something. So so this is the address. So this is the address. Is it? All right. So now let's go to the street view. All right, so now let's enter. We are asked to enter the the corners again to load the street view so now let's enter the corners again to uh, enter so the corner this one was about 51 here now this is it now so now let's get just get instant street view this way so we are now on the location so now let's zoom and see something so we are now um location so let's check it out whether we need to find the the landing bridge that we are looking at so the landing bridge is somewhere here can just scroll to find the location exactly yeah so this is the landing bridge so check it out so this is the landing bridge there. so we see you see you see what so this image this is the image all right so this is the landing bridge all right you can see it so this is the landing bridge this is how the landing bridge looks like so now this is the image that has been found rightly here so you see we just got there Location just got the um, the item from the location and we have located this is where the, the this is the actual location of it so we can see around and see um, things so if you are fine do some, do some research you can just have this useful thing and then have the research done so just come here so this is the image that we are finding the image so this is the image so check it out this is the image this is the image and then this is the image let's come here this is what we are information with just an image now we need to find the location so this has confirmed that it is actually in London right, so it's very important to take note that uh, yes images can be so powerful and then the data that are linked to your your image so like this one so this we only got the, the, the viewed location with just the tags this is just 
um, tax that 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 was found in, in the image. How to protect your images? One, disable location tagging in your camera settings. Two, use tools to strip metadata before sharing. Three, resave images using screenshot or editing apps, often strips metadata. Four, use privacy-aware platforms or image sanitizers. If you're learning cybersecurity, EXIF tool is a great tool to explore metadata and understand digital footprints. Just remember, awareness is your first defense. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more digital privacy and ethical hacking videos. Comment below if you want a deep dive into metadata stripping or forensic analysis.